let's go over how to use the Listing Quality Analyzer tool. This tool was specifically built to help prepare users for API integrations by running through all of your properties and looking for errors or inconsistencies. To find the Listing Quality Analyzer, go up to the top bar, then click Tools, then click Listing Quality Analyzer. From here, you'll be able to select which properties you'd like to run the analyzer for, and you can select which channels. You can also check Only Show Errors. We'll go ahead and leave this on all properties, and we won't select any channels at first. Then we'll click Analyze Listings. Below we'll see the results. We are given info on our nightly rate. We're also given some useful warnings. Here we see we have pets allowed, but no pet fee is configured. This is not a problem. This is just a recommendation that the Listing Quality Analyzer will give you based upon what you have set. Next we see we have an error for occupancy rules. We haven't specified the maximum amount of guests we allow at the property. Below that we'll see another error for our other property showing that we're missing rates from December 10th, 2020 to the 31st, 2020. And we're missing rates for the next year as well. Then we see the same warning that we saw on the other property, letting us know that pets are allowed but no pet fee is configured. Let's go ahead and fix this by adding a pet fee. If we click close, then go to settings, then go to surcharges and discounts and click create surcharge or discount. We'll go ahead and call this pet fee. We'll leave this as automatic. Then below, we'll give this a fixed amount of $50 per stay and add the multiplier pet. We'll save for every one pet above zero up to the property max. If the property max is two pets and they bring two pets, that means they'll be charged $100 for their stay. We'll go ahead and leave this as taxable. We'll leave this for all properties, all seasons, and all listing sites. We'll leave everything else alone, then click Save. Now if we go back to Tools, then click Listing Quality Analyzer again, we'll go ahead and run it and we'll see that warning is now gone. Now let's fix the occupancy rules for Bear Valley. You can go straight to that property by clicking Bear Valley. Now if we click on Rules, then click Change, we can scroll down, and here we see we haven't set the maximum amount of guests. We'll set this to 6, and we'll go ahead and set a maximum amount of pets to 2. Now we'll scroll down and click Save. If we go back to Tools and run the Listing Quality Analyzer again, we'll see that warning is now gone. Let's go ahead and fix the last warning for Poppy's Hideaway. We'll go ahead and click Close, then go to Settings, then Rates. Now if we look at our seasonal rates, we'll see the winter holiday season, which are the dates that we're showing the error, we do not have a seasonal rate for Poppy's Hideaway. We can click in here, then click Set Rates. We'll make this 400. Then click Update. Now if we go back to Tools, then run the Listing Quality Analyzer one more time, we'll see we do not have any errors, only info about our nightly rate. If you're preparing to turn on the API for a channel such as Homeway, you'll want to go to Channels, then select Homeway. When you click Analyze, you'll see a lot of other errors and warnings that pop up. These are specific to that channel. The same goes for Airbnb, Booking.com, and TripAdvisor. If we look at the Homeway.com API warnings and errors, we'll see the only error we have on both properties is that we don't have a credit card payment configured. For Homeway, a credit card payment processor is required. As soon as you add your payment processor to OwnerRes, this will go away. Next we see we haven't specified the check-in time or the check-out time. We can easily go to Bear Valley, then go to Rules, click Change, then scroll down, and here we can specify the check-in time, we'll make this 11 a.m., and the checkout time, we'll make this 4 p.m. Now if we scroll down to the bottom and click Save, then run the Listing Quality Analyzer for the Homeway channel, we'll see that warning has gone away. The next warning we see is at least 20 photos are recommended for that channel. If we were to add 20 photos, this would go away. We also see information on specific photos we already had. 
This info is letting us know that the recommended size is at least 3840 by 2160 for any images. As soon as you fix any errors and correct any warnings, you'll be ready to go to connect your API channel. I only demonstrated a few of many things that the Listing Quality Analyzer looks at. There are hundreds of other fields and settings that are checked, and we are constantly adding other quality checks every month, so run this tool from time to time and see if your properties have any new recommendations. If you are getting ready to turn on the API integration for channels, it is vital to run this Listing Quality Analyzer tool first. That is how you use the Listing Quality Analyzer in Onores.